No, I mean... <laughs> you can live in a big mansion, you know, or a detached, or a semi, or eat a two up and two down. But it all depends on your neighbours, doesn't it, how happy you are. As a fella lives next door to me, I hate him. <laughs> I do, honest. No, his garden's immaculate. You know, he's got a fly mow. <laughs> you know them long simmers for the edge of the lawn? And pruners. And he's always swanging about it like, and he makes a point. And when my missus comes out to hang the washing house, he's dirty with the pruners. You know, where's Eddie? It's nothing to do with him, has it? <laughs> and my missus says, oh, he's somewhere in the grass. There always comes a time, ladies and gentlemen, when them people need you. <laughs> <laughs> because, as I say, you got a smashing car, fly mo, and simmers and pruners and that. And he's not even on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and he come home the other day, and there's no sign of his missus. So he went upstairs and she's lying on the bed there and just her briefs in her bra and she's sh shaking and saying, sweating cobs. He said, what to do? She'd have had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes to our house, you know. So yeah, he can use your phone. Said, Certainly, he said, the wife's had a heart attack. So he's dialing 999 with the ambulance. And one of his kids comes and said, hey, Dad, my Uncle Charlie's in the wardrobe there with no clothes on. <laughs> so he slammed the phone down, you know. I said, I, I take it easy with the phone. <laughs> and he ran back in her house like... <laughs> into the bedroom and I followed him. And he went to the wards over and he said, hey, Charlie, what's the score? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie said, what do you mean? He said, well, there's the wife there lying on the bed, just had a heart attack. <laughs> he said, and you're running down the house like that, frightening the kids. <laughs>